Immigration is an organised replacement of our population. This threatens our very survival. We don't have the means to integrate those who are already here. The result is endless cultural conflict. I will build a great, great wall on our southern border and I'll make Mexico pay for that wall. Mark my words. If you believe you're a citizen of the world, you're a citizen of nowhere. You don't believe, you don't understand what the very word citizenship means. These are the narratives of people in power today. And these narratives are being echoed more and more throughout society. And the question we want to ask you is, are these the things we should be teaching to our children? Global citizenship. My name is Emily. Sorry, my name is Felicia. <laughs> <laughs> and this is Emily. I'll be Emily tonight. <laughs> and we work for Development in Action. I'm chair and Emily's vice chair. Development in Action is a volunteer-led, youth-led charity focused on promoting global citizenship. The world is shrinking. Global issues are more interconnected than ever before. Migration, climate change, rising extremism, increasing inequality and poverty. These are all real issues of today and they must be addressed. We are no longer only citizens of our nations, but citizens of the world. My family came to this country in the early 1970s as refugees, extradited as a result of a change in political regime in Uganda. Each and every one of us has our own story that connects us to another part of the world, whether it's through the food that we eat, or the labels in our clothes, or migration through our past generations. This is global citizenship. DIA promotes global citizenship in two ways. We have an in India internship program, which you can ask us about at the end, but we're here today to speak to you about the second kind, which is our UK program workshops. So our UK program workshops are for students across the UK, from key stage three to A level. At the moment, uh, global issues are neglected in the school curriculum and young people have a lack of understanding about global issues and a lack of a place to critically discuss them. Our workshop leaders work with teachers to develop classes that suit classes' needs um, based on their interest. We've done past workshops in migration, climate change, global fashion, sustainable development and some various other topics. We need your support to continue to run these free, high quality workshops. So it takes up to £60 per workshop. Um, and tonight we want to raise £1,000 to make us able to run up to 17. What we're also asking for as a solely volunteer led organisation is for enthusiastic, passionate people to contribute. We currently have vacancies for the workshop leaders I've just mentioned. We also have trustee positions and various others that, again, you can ask us about at the end or visit our website. All our workshops have feedback forms given out at the end for both the students and the teachers. So we've had overwhelmingly positive feedback, including from the teachers, the information that we're filling a gap in the curriculum. For example, last year we had a session on women and development. Um, that was for a year eight class in London. Um, and 57% of the students said they didn't have an awareness of the topic before the event. Afterwards, it was 97% were aware. So this feedback is to improve our lessons, to maintain quality and effectiveness, for a greater impact on the students, and therefore on our world. We must foster global citizenship. Mm -hmm. Education is about more than just literacy and numeracy. This is about citizenry. Education must fully assume its essential role in helping people to forge more just, peaceful and tolerant societies. We want to leave you with this quote from Ban Ki-moon, Secretary General of the United Nations. 
which essentially encapsulates a message that we want to send to our students. That the outcomes of a positive and inclusive society require action, require awareness, and require the acknowledgement that social change starts with the individual. Through teaching the next generation of young leaders, Development in Action helps to foster compassionate global citizenship. Thank you.